So a video of mine just recently hit 600,000 views and I'm just speechless as to how much money it's produced. Come on, now that is some straight up David Copperfield. That was dumb, but believe it or not, this video has made more money for me this month than a video I did that got over 14 million views. So in today's video, I'm gonna go 100% nude, <laughs> I mean, transparent and show you guys behind the scenes all of my numbers and how much money both of these videos have made for me. With that said, my name is David Copperfield. Let's get started right now. Hey guys, my name is Andre Jick and that rhymes with Rick. But today I do wanna say that I'm not making this video to show off how much money I'm making. Instead, I wanna show you my progress here on YouTube because it's not that long ago that I started, which was this January in 2019. And I watch these kind of videos almost once a week because it's like fuel for my soul. I get so inspired watching guys like Graham Stephan, Nate O'Brien, Jeremy from Financial Education, and I'm so in awe and just inspired by what they've been able to accomplish. My goal is to get you excited and passionate about investing, whether that's investing your time or your money, whatever gets you the best results on your efforts. And I wanna do that through the lens of transparency and openness, hopefully encouraging us to start a dialogue about things that are considered taboo, which is money. And hopefully by making all of these videos that are showing you how much money I'm making, how much money I'm spending, what I'm investing my money into, I'll show you guys this step-by-step -step guide, a visual process of my my personal financial journey unfolding right in front of your very eyes with each and every new video in real time basically. So I didn't make any money from the first few months of making videos on YouTube. That's because you need 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, which I did not have until March. That's when I got my lucky break and one of my videos just exploded. So my friends and I recreated a famous scene from a movie called Now You See Me Too. And I actually happened to be a consultant on that, teaching the cast how to do cardistry in the year 2015. It was this super cool thing that I did. But that video that we filmed took just 10 minutes of my time. We just came up with it on the spot, filmed it, and from the moment of posting it, it took off and spread like wildfire. And that made me so happy and so sad at the same time because the video that I put the least amount of effort into was the video that gets noticed. The video was even seen by the director of the movie himself, John Chu, who I got to work with on set. Super cool guy. That experience was an experience of a lifetime. And my life peaked in 2015 and ever since, it's just been slowly on the decline. But after posting that video several million views later, I thought to myself, wow, I'm a YouTuber, finally, this is it. Yes! I have heard of YouTubers who are making way more money, tens of thousands of dollars for way less views than this. So naturally, this video is gonna make me at least five grand. I mean, I can at least just count on that. It's gonna be so good. I don't know what I based that number on, but $5,000 was the number I was settled on. I was basically married to that number at that point. Needless to say, I did not make $5,000. In fact, in all of March, I made a whopping $90, which isn't even enough for YouTube to send you the check because it doesn't meet the $100 monthly minimum. So here is my real reaction at the time of discovering this fact. Caution, what you're about to see contains graphic images of someone dying on the inside. Let's roll the clip. What? $90? <laughs> like, wait, what? This has to be wrong. Okay, so it was later I discovered that in April was when I made all of that money from the video. And I made $1,951.89, which is, of course, of course, a lot of money. But maybe reality and expectation didn't really, I don't know what this means, but they didn't see eye to eye. But just to show you, my CPM for that particular video or my cost per thousand views was $1.74, which is horrendously low. The video was just too short. It was only two and a half minutes long, which means no place to put ad breaks anywhere in the middle of the video, and ads is how YouTubers get paid. You might have seen an ad, but don't feel bad. If you skipped the ad, I skip them all the time as well. I've got ad blocker on. 
Now, most of those views came from Indonesia, India, the Philippines, and Vietnam. <laughs> no idea why that is. And the reason for such a low cost per thousand views is because YouTube cares a lot about where your audience is watching you. In fact, they will offer a lower CPM rate for countries that have lower incomes, which makes sense because advertisers want to target countries like the US, Canada, and Australia, countries with higher disposable income because these guys want you to buy the things they're advertising, which totally makes sense. And also the ads that are shown, I have absolutely no control over. So the worst thing that happens to me is I'll be talking to you about how I don't want you to buy some guru's course. And in the middle of me saying that there's an ad or a banner that pops up and shows the guru's course. But also age is very important to the advertisers because they want to aim for people between 25 and 54 and the brackets between there because that's when your income is at its highest peak. Now over the lifetime of this video, it has earned me $3,549.97, which I'm so happy with that more than covered my trip to LA when I went out there to make the video. And guys, remember at the beginning of this year, I set a goal for myself and that was to make $1,000 for the entire year and we crushed it and I could not have done it without you. So you, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Well, now let's compare that to this month's video, which at the time of recording has just over 691,000 views, which obviously is nowhere near the 14 million views from the other video, right? So how much did YouTube pay me for this November video about the seven sources of passive income? You guys ready for this? your mind's about to be blown. At the time of recording this, it is sitting at $10,226.71. That is insane to me. Like that is so much money. I've never seen that kind of money before in my life. And I wish I could make that kind of a video every month, but I just don't think I'm that smart. Still though, that income is twice as much as I had ever made from my career salary job where I was making online videos teaching people how to do cardistry and magic. Fun fact, it's also why I put off making my YouTube channel for the last five years. I've wanted to do YouTube for a very long time, but I was always afraid that people would look at me and think, you're not a millionaire. You don't drive a Ferrari. You don't live in a mansion. Why should I listen to you? And the other thing I was terrified of is people looking at my past and thinking, dude, you play with cards. You love cardistry and magic and entertainment. Why should I listen to you on matters of personal finance? And I was terrified of reinventing myself. And I have read those comments and it devastated me. I was, I was upset, I was frustrated, and I let those people win because I put off YouTube for five years because of that. So don't be me, be you, because I'm gonna tell you something that might change your life. Let me just channel my inner guru here for just a brief moment, but hear me out. 1% of this world loves you for you. <laughs> Words and all, all of your imperfections, they love everything about you. And 1% of this world is still millions of people. They are out there right now. They're in love with you. They just don't know it yet because they haven't met you yet. So when you think about the whole YouTube thing and about constantly putting yourself out there, that's just another way of saying, put yourself out there in front of that 1% that's out there. They will find you, you'll find them, and you'll find the crowd that loves you for who you are and you'll do what you love and you'll succeed. It's inevitable. Sorry for going off on this guru-like tangent, but back to the video. The video's CPM for that particular one, by the way, was $29.56, nearly 17 times higher than the Now You See Me video. Top country, United States, with 38.8% of the audience, and the age bracket, 25 to 34, with 90% male and 10% female. Guys, we have to balance this out. Where's my females at? If we don't, I'm gonna have to start investing in Oscar Mayer Wiener soon, okay? And here's a mind-blowing metric for you. 58,000 hours of watch time. But just to put that in perspective for you, 58,000 hours of watch time would be like you sitting down to watch my videos nonstop, which you should absolutely never do, for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without stopping for six and a half years. 
That's insane. But because that video got so many views, several of my other videos started being recommended, so I made a little bit more money from that as well. But one thing I did not know when I first started YouTube was more than the views, more than the duration, what's the most important thing is the topic that you guys are talking about. Do you remember when all the rage was about just prank channels or when people were giving money to homeless people, leveraging homelessness and exploiting it because their channel would make way more money? Yeah, those guys make anywhere between 50 cents to $2 per thousand views. So those guys have to get a lot more views to make any kind of significant income. And for vloggers, which I kind of started out as because I didn't know how to format my videos, my titles were all over the place, I'd show people my day and at the end buy a stock, it was one giant hot mess. Those guys get paid anywhere between two to eight dollars CPM. If you're just starting YouTube, do not become a vlogger unless your lifestyle is like that of a Kardashian because you almost have to earn the right to be a vlogger because you need to have an audience that's already established and cares about who you are to watch your day. So for me, I'm not gonna be vlogging anytime soon until well, people care about me more and I have a larger subscriber base. Maybe when I get to a million subscribers, in the year, never. For car channels, anywhere between two to $10, higher than vloggers, but gamers, kind of all over the place. Anywhere as low as 50 cents to as high as $8 or even higher. Now, I didn't know this when I started, but finance channels have some of the highest CPM rates in the industry with ranging from anywhere between $14 to $30 or even sometimes $40 and more. And I've had those kind of ad rates for just a brief period of time. The general rule of thumb here is that if you're making videos with real big companies and products and services where they have to compete for advertising space, you're gonna have a higher CPM rate, which totally makes sense. Now, during the last quarter or the last three months of the year, companies just take their budget and just all over. So for example, if this is budget right here, and this is me, this is a visualization of what happens in the last three months. They take their budget and they just just all over, make it rain. In fact, in the last two months of this year, I made over 50%, 50, 50 of my income in the last two months. Crazy. And the most important lesson that I've learned from being on YouTube after reading all of your guys' amazing comments and responding to nearly all of them is that you don't have to be the richest, the smartest, the most successful, the most talented. You just have to relate and have fun with it. Have fun making your videos, have fun connecting with your audience. And as long as you're providing value and you're enriching the lives of other people, you're going to succeed. It's why I stopped watching guru channels because they don't speak to me anymore. No, literally, they don't even address me in first person because it shows videos of them going to auditoriums in front of thousands of audiences and I can't relate with that because they have a giant crew of people who shoot and edit their videos and that process of creativity that is YouTube is lost the authenticity is gone and I feel like I'm watching their success from the sidelines. I don't feel like I'm a part of it anymore and as a result, the fun of trying to keep up is gone. But the most important takeaway from this entire video is the next time you have a bad day or someone's being rude to you and you have no idea why, just think of it like this. Would you throw away $86,400 if someone stole just $10 of it? No, right? That would be silly. You have 86,400 seconds in your day today. Don't let someone's bad moment ruin the remainder of your day. Guys, sometimes I finance, sometimes I motivate like a guru and contradict myself. Love you, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you all on Friday. And Tyus, I stole this from your Facebook wall. Bye-bye. <laughs>